I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was it the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Ballard is definitely up to something. to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Uh, too close, Phelps. Way too close. Get in there and see what she's up to. Would you recommend the special, Miss? Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. What's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. 
he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his brother. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? Why did these places have so much preparation age? Oh, wee! Benny's give me speed. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. Nothing significant. Circumstantial. Doesn't look like anything. What do you have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars?
I don't think so. This isn't what we're looking for. Presented to Mark. Optimistic call. Looks like the old movie set downtown. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. I don't think this is anything. Seems irrelevant. No good to me. like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. 